Hello there, it's Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, sticking my nose in a lot of different matters. But welcome to my channel. Subscribe, share, like. And for my subscribers, thank you for bearing with me. I'm not always, um, I'm not a predictable person. So you can't really say, oh yeah, I'm going to see Black Bright. She's going to be doing something tomorrow, today. She's going to do six. She's going to do one. You never know. I am a person who acts on, not necessarily impulse, but I go with my spirit. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about um, Jamaica's state of emergency, which ends next month, August. August starts tomorrow. Today is the 30, no, starts Wednesday, because today is the 30th of July. I'm doing this video and the state of emergency is ending next month. It had been delayed. It was supposed to stop in May, but of course, so many shootings, it's been extended. Uh, between January and April, there was 460, 406 killings. January, February, March, April. That's nearly 100 a month, over 100 a month. It's actually 102 a month, if you want to average it. So, wholeness, who's the Prime Minister, um, decided to declare a state of emergency. And they went in, and we all know what a state of emergency is. It's when the government takes control, the military supports the police, the roads are closed, it affects travel, and it's not a visually, it's, it's quite an intimidating environment. Anyway, as of last month, which was June, because we're in July, um, figures have fallen, death toll figures, and I understand it's 21 murders 21 that's better than 100 a month um so that looks good um so it is improving i mean i guess the military can't be any everywhere but they feel quite confident that with the community supporting them and helping them that they'll keep the number of murders down um, i'm not quite sure what methods they used to reduce the crime it doesn't say um, apparently the military have extra um, powers that they wouldn't normally have, but it doesn't say what those powers are. So um, just a quick um, overhaul. It just says uh, the definition of a state of emergency is, you probably know this, but it's where a situation of national danger or disaster um, government is empowered to perform actions that would normally not be permitted to do to be to change behaviour of delinquent citizens. It's a dictatorial regime, which means it's very you do what I say or else. And um, it, it has been known to restrict human rights and civil liberties because of its nature. Um, there's been roads closures, um, but you know, interesting, interestingly enough, since January um, to May, 1.7 million visitors to Jamaica. So it's not affecting tourism, and um, as we know in Jamaica, tourists are really protected. I mean, the odd one must, you know, the odd one might. Get, you know, there might be a problem with the odd one, but by and large, very, very rare you hear anything happening to tourists. So 1.7 million have visitors between January and May, which is quite an incredible number for such a small island. Um, I was going to look up Zoso, but um, I didn't have time. Zoso is working with, um, with the military and the police but I didn't look it up sorry folks um, to find out what it is if I can find a link when by the time I put this video up I'll attach the link um, there's been 27 shootings by police um, but yeah it's it's gone down the figures so I'm quite happy about that um, it's sad that it takes a state of emergency to reduce the killings but whatever it takes Andrew Holness is keen on making Jamaica a beautiful island for people to live, not only visitors, but the civilians as well. Um, 
the state of emergency was extended to St Andrew um, South Division. Uh, 21 people murdered in June. I've already said that. It appears when it said that it's down from 20, it was an improvement of 20, it gave the impression to me that there was only one murder in July, which would be fantastic if that's the case. So, but don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. Um, Dr Chang, who is the National Security Officer, visited key social intervention sites and engaged with community stakeholders on issues related to targeted youth violence prevention, the creation of safe community spaces and opportunities for community development. Residents appreciate the presence of, you know, the presence of the military they feel much safer and there's better street lighting and all in all, it seems to have worked quite well. So I just thought I'd do a quick one here. I've been doing long ones again. I don't I don't know where the time goes when I'm chatting. Anyway, I'm not going to let the, I'm not going to stretch this one out. So that's all for now. And thanks for listening. Bye bye.